Hello there, I'm Ethan, the head of support at OpenTrons. This is the seventh video in a series we are calling From Box to Protocol. I just completed the tip length and pipe at offset calibration, so let's get started with how to upload and run a protocol. For this, I'll need all the labware I'm going to be using in the protocol. I have a tube rack, a reservoir, and a well plate. I'll also need the tip racks for each pipette. I have a P1000 on the right side and a P20 multi on the left mount. Lastly, I should always put the trash in before I run any protocols. This trash will protect the metal from anything that's disposed of in your tips. To run a protocol on the OT2, I will need to have my pipettes attached and have gone through the deck, tip length, and pipette offset calibration. To begin, I will need a protocol. I have one I created for these videos using our Python API. It can be found in our protocol library. The link to the protocol will be in the video description. It's a simple protocol that aspirates liquid from a tube rack or reservoir into the well plate. Let's go to the app. To import a protocol, I'm going to go to the OpenTrans app, navigate to the protocols tab. This will bring me to the protocol import page. I can either drag and drop a file to the app or choose the file. I'm going to select to choose the file option. A file browser will pop up and I will be able to select the protocol I downloaded. When I import a protocol, the app will run it through the protocol analysis, which is a local simulation of the protocol to grab specific information regarding the metadata and the deck map of the protocol. Once the protocol is imported, I can initiate the run process. To do this, I will need to be in the protocols tab. Then I can select the three dot menu, which will display a drop down menu from which I select the run option. I need to select which OT2 I want to run this protocol on. I only have one OT2 available, so there is only one in this list. If I did have more than one OT2, there would be multiple in this section. I select the robot and click proceed to setup. This brings me to the protocol setup page, which gives me information on the protocol I imported. If you have been following along, you already know I completed the robot calibrations needed for a run. So there is no need to redo step one. There would be a yellow warning here saying calibration needed if the calibrations were not done. I need to briefly talk about step two, labware setup. OpenTrons recommends performing this labware setup as part of the setup of a protocol. This step mostly deals with applying or creating labware offsets using labware position check. These offsets are small adjustments for a pipette to go to the correct place on a specific labware and a specific deck slot. Since I have not performed the labware position check before on any labware, I can continue on with step two. This brings me to a nice explanation of what labware position check is and how to perform it. Let's continue on with the labware position check though. Once I click begin labware position check, the OT2 will move the pipette to slot six in tip A1, and I'll need to position all the nozzles to be aligned with column one. Once the OT2 is over the tip rack, I need to confirm that all nozzles are in the correct location and aligned properly. If the channels are not perfectly aligned 
I can click on reveal jog controls, which I will do because the pipette is minimally off. The jog controls will be displayed now. I'm going to quickly adjust my pipette so they are aligned. I will now confirm position. The robot will move to slot five and the other pipette will lower down to tip A1. I now need to make sure that the pipette nozzle for my P1000 is centered in tip A1 and that the nozzle is level with the top of the tip. It is a tad bit off. Uh, so I'm going to reveal the jog controls like I did last time and move it around a bit. Once it's aligned, I will click on confirm position, pick up tips, and the OT2 will try to pick up the tips. The app will ask me if the pipette picked up the tip successfully. It did, so I will say that it did, and it's going to move to slot one. The tip should be centered in well A1, and the bottom of the tip should be even with the top of the well. I'm going to jog it because it's a little off. So again, I need to reveal the jog controls. The tip is centered in well A1, and the bottom of the tip is even with the top of the well. So I will confirm position and the pipette will move to slot two. So it's going to move to the first column in this reservoir. So the pipette will move to well A1 in the lab in slot two, which is a reservoir. And I need to now center the tip in well A1 and make sure that the bottom of the tip is even with the top of the well. It is a little low, so I'm going to need to reveal jog controls and jog it up a bit. The tip is centered in well A1 and the bottom of the tip is even with the top of the well. So I will confirm position and move to slot three. Just like the previous two pieces of labware, it will move to well A1, and I need to make sure that the tip is centered in well A1, and the bottom of the tip is even with the top of the well. It's pretty good, but I think it could be a little better. So I'm going to reveal jog controls and jog it a little bit. Now that's a great calibration. So I will confirm the position and the robot's going to return the tip into the tip rack in slot five. It's going to drop the tip and the robot will home. So robot is homing. I know the labware position check is complete because there are green checks on all my labware in the deck map. And the labware offsets for each piece of labware that I ran the labware position check on is shown here. So I'm going to close the screen and apply the labware offset data. Now in this deck map, we can see the labber offset data that I just went through. Now I am back to the protocol setup tab. All the calibrations are done. I can now start the run. So we can hit start run and here we go.
I'm going to stop the video here and let the OT2 continue the protocol in peace. Thanks for checking out the final video in our From Box to Protocol series. That concludes the walkthrough of everything you need to do to get the OT2 up and running with the protocol. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.